I am so excited because my new laptop just arrived. Ah, this is a monumental moment because I've been using the same laptop for... Since 2013. Really? That's a 2013 one. Now, let's not get anything wrong here. That laptop was my best friend. It has done so much for me, but right now she's a little slow and she's been kind of letting me down over the last few weeks, especially since doing vlogmas. La the last few months. The last year. Yeah. The last year. So that's why we bought this guy. I'm going to let Eddie do the technical explanation because to be quite honest, he just told me what I needed to buy and I listened to him. We did a few upgrades and now I have all right, give it to them. So we got the new 16 inch MacBook Pro with a one terabyte hard drive, 32 gigs of RAM, and the upgraded graphics card. All the ladies are probably like, what did he say? Basically, <laughs> it's all the things. And we got the 16 inch, which is a big jump because you used to have a... 13. And I was fully content with the 13 when Andy tried to get me to switch up to a 15 inch. I just thought that was too big, especially when it comes time to traveling. I thought, how am I supposed to edit on an airplane or even, I don't know. That was just my way of thinking. And then now we went one inch bigger, but apparently this is the new one that mm -hmm. I needed to have. Are you ready? Very quiet so we can hear it. Oh, okay. He wants to do ASMR. Wait, let's wait for that train to go by. Okay. Drop it now. This is like, oh. oh. Whoa, that's a big laptop. That's huge. This is huge, Andy. Oh my gosh. How am I gonna lug this sucker around? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I'm so excited. Can we also just take a second? Today, this morning, when I was editing the vlog that went out mm -hmm. like an hour ago, and the reason why it went out an hour ago is because it took me forever to edit because it kept freezing. So that's, I am so excited right now. Ta-da! She's beautiful. Oh. oh. She already started up. <laughs> Did you know that was gonna happen? Um, no, I didn't actually. That's amazing. Although we did catch a movie in Crazy. the AM. Crazy. How right big that screen is. AM we went to. Well, now the not so fun part about today is I was super excited to open this up, take a look at it, but now I have to back up my old computer, which Andy tells me is going to take hours. Okay. So we're gonna do that. Maybe we'll go out for a little bit, get a coffee, and come back and it'll still be going but I was just so excited to open it today and actually I've had this laptop at home for probably like three days but I haven't gotten around to opening it so today was the day <laughs> so we are actually gonna have a home day a home night because it's really ugly and cold outside and I'm quite lazy so we're gonna make soup. Actually, this is so perfect for the weather. It's a white bean and kale soup. You it's found the recipe. You found it online, right? Um, yes, I did. Yeah. Online or in a cookbook? Online. It's really delicious. It's really easy to make. Here's all the ingredients that you need to make this soup. Olive oil, cannellini beans, diced up whole peeled diced Roma tomatoes, kale, Tuscan kale or black kale, lemon, garlic, salt, onions, celery, carrots, and then I'm cheating and just using like some clubhouse Italiano seasoning. So we'll start off with just thing on like low to medium heat and about two tablespoons worth of olive oil and, and a little bit of butter. Add your carrots, celery, and onions and just let those cook down for about five minutes. Then after a few minutes, add about two cloves worth of minced garlic. Once you got it mostly sweated, see the onions are starting to turn clear? Mm -hmm. Then you want to add like a teaspoon of your Italian seasoning, maybe a teaspoon and a half. A good chunk of it basically. This is also when you want to add your salt now too, because we're using a no salt added chicken stock. We want to do lots of salt right now. 
So all of our tablespoon of salt. Okay, so once that's done, it's broth time. So we're gonna add two. <laughs> we're gonna add two liters, or just under two liters of no salt added chicken broth. You can use veggie broth if you're a vegetarian, but the chicken broth's just gonna have a little more flavor. And now we're gonna get it up to medium heat and let it sit for about 15 minutes. Now we're gonna add the rest of our stuff, starting with the kale, the beans, and then the tomatoes. We're just gonna stir that all in. That already looks so good. Mm -hmm. Once you've let it simmer for a little while, now you can squeeze in some lemon juice. <laughs> that way. Hopefully, not all of it on your hand. All over Andy. Get that seed out of there, because that's. Nobody wants to bite down on that. And now's a good time to stir it in and taste for flavor. More pepper? Um, I didn't add any actually pepper. I used that in seasoning, so yeah. Some fresh ground black pepper. All right, soup's done. Now I want to make biscuits because I know they're gonna go so well with this soup. So the recipe is super easy. They're just baking powder biscuits. Numero uno, you're gonna need some flour. I'm gonna try out the new flour that I picked up with my mom the other day. And baking powder, salt, butter, and oh, I forgot, a little bit of milk. We'll just slide that right in here. First step, you're gonna combine two cups of flour with four teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt. Now we're gonna cut in a quarter cup of butter, cold butter. I don't have one of the proper things to do this, so I'm just using a knife instead. Now you're gonna make a little well in the center and then we're gonna pour the one cup of milk my battery just died as I was saying that, but I was saying to add the milk slowly, and now I'm just going to mix this in. I'm gonna knead it in the bowl first. Spread that flour out, because now we're gonna roll it out. Now I'm just gonna use this little mason jar to cut them out. And now this is not my nicest baking sheet because you guys know how it is, the stains over the years. But I'm going to put it onto an ungreased baking sheet. Normally I use parchment paper but I ran out and I definitely need to get some before I make my shortbread cookies. And then you're just gonna pop these in the oven for about 12, 15 minutes, but make sure to check on them so you don't burn them. And by the way, that's 450 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, they're done. Those look good. So my secret to really delicious soup at the end here is add a couple knobs of cold butter. Butter. And just stir that in. It's gonna kind of cream it up, so now it's not so clear. He tries to talk all proper for you guys when he cooks. You should see what we're really like in the kitchen. <laughs> we're a <laughs> bunch of hands. <laughs> <laughs> now, I would say, it is ready. Along well, with the biscuits. <sighs> They're, they smell really good. I wish you guys were here. are not quite working for me yet. I tried styling it different today. I tried out a curl cream and then using my diffuser to see what curly hair was gonna look like. And this is what I got. I tried putting it up and all together while I was eating lunch just so that the curls could form a little bit better and completely dry. But that didn't quite work because this is not curly. So it's definitely gonna require a little bit more work, a little bit more practice to make this cute. Right now I feel a little bit 80s. <laughs> we'll get there. I will get there. I will find a way to make this work. But brand new day. I am in the same sweater I was wearing yesterday because I am in love. So this is actually one of the sweaters that actually worked out for me from my 
H&M shopping trip. The other two were complete fails and I found this one at the very end and I thought, hey, that could be so good for at home, for winter, even though, you know, I just realized it's not even winter officially yet. That happens on the, what, 20, 22nd, but it's so comfortable. It's one of those oversized fits that I already know I'm gonna live in. But back to what's important my laptop so last night we were able to get everything backed up from my old one over to this one by the way this is one of my favorite photos from my trip to new york this year love it and so far because i haven't really played around too much with it because by the time it was set up it was pretty late last night but the feature that has me blown away the most is definitely the touch screen it's like an iphone you use your finger to open it i love that so advanced. I haven't started editing the vlog yet, but I already know that's gonna be a breeze because it's so much faster. The old thing I was using. <laughs> the fact that this is bigger is actually something that I'm kind of in love with because I was eating lunch this afternoon. I had some YouTube on, I was watching the reel, and it's like having another TV right in front of you. I love that, and the speakers are so good like the sound is incredible it completely blows my old one out of the water that's pretty much all that's going on today i i'm going to turn on the rest of my lights because it's so dark and dreary out so i don't know where you oh i'm sure everybody's affected by the earlier nights like the fact that it gets dark early but in vancouver right now when i wake up in the mornings it's dark it's raining it's dreary. It's depressing. I was talking to my mom earlier today and I just told her I just feel really blah. Like it's just so, like that's how my day is going. And she's like, turn on all your lights. So I turned on my Christmas lights. I'm probably gonna go edit in my bedroom and turn on the string lights behind me because those really make me happy. And get myself out of this funk because I think I got the winter blues. There was no way I could end the vlog just talking about winter blues and it's like, okay, see ya. Even though I did wake up to the same situation. It's dark, it's raining, it's dreary, but I'm gonna change that around right now and I'm gonna do that makeup giveaway that I talked about a few videos ago. So I came back pajamas and all to show you what you can win. So the other day I showed you this new Urban Decay Party Favor palette that came out for the holidays. So I'm gonna include that, this Lancome eyeshadow palette with the pops of blue and I thought this would go perfectly underneath it. It's a base from YSL, full matte shadow in blue. I thought that would be pretty good. Also gonna throw in these L'Oreal eyeliners, a L'Oreal mascara, some lippies, there's this one from Lancome. It's a nice nude with some shimmer in there. A YSL red lipstick, a gloss from Armani, and then this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Illumination Powder. So to enter, you must obviously be subscribed to my channel. Hopefully by now you are. If not, click that subscribe button. Be sure to like this video and then Leave me a comment with which Vlogmas video has been your favorite to watch so far and why. I'm actually really excited to read your responses to that. And this is just a huge thank you to the ones that have been watching these videos. It means everything to me. There's also gonna be one more giveaway coming up, so stay tuned for that. And then just be sure to enter and to continue watching these videos until Christmas. And that is it. Thank you, I think that's a better end to the video, and I will see you in the next one, bye.